What's going on everybody? If you're interested in teaching your dog how to track blood trails and you need to take the UBT1 certification test, also known as the United Blood Tracker certification test, I suggest you stick around. In this video, we're gonna go over the requirements of the UBT1. We're gonna put out a mock trail that meets those requirements. And then we're gonna have our pup run it in preparation of going to Missouri or Mississippi and getting our certification done. Click like, subscribe, comment, stick around. All right. So we're going to do fairly straight and two 90 degree turns. Yeah. This track is not meant to be difficult. All right, so just so everybody knows, we're just about a straight line. Doing my best to stay straight. We're at 98.81 yards. Want to head right a little bit. We chose this spot because it is still active hunting season here in New Jersey. It is winter bow. Um, so this is a pretty populated area. Anybody hunting this close to the parking lot would be an absolute fool. And I really don't mind walking up on them anyway. <laughs> My wife is the real MVP. I just want to let everybody know that. She puts up with my nonsense. She's out here getting... <laughs> Look at her, guys. Look at her. <laughs> We're probably going to come up on the other side of these laurels and make our left turn. Now, I've been running much harder tracks with my dog but we finally got some dates on when we can go certify so i'm trying to do more realistic tracks of what's expected in those tests so that he goes down there and does exactly what's necessary we're in new jersey and we're gonna have to drive to missouri or mississippi we will be doing that all right, so we went a little over to get past these laurels, but we're at 163 yards. We just have to be between 400 and 500 yards for a UBT1. So we're going to make a 90 degree turn right here. Yep, that was a pretty, pretty perfect 90 degree turn. It might be a little bit off, but good enough for testing purposes. And it gave me a 90 degree right into a thorn thicket. That's fine. All right. You don't want to follow me here. Um, in order to stay true to the test, yeah. Yeah, I should have. I didn't know this was here. This is my first time in this part of the woods. Really? Yeah. Well... We only need two 90 degree turns. It doesn't say where, so. There's your other. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna turn this way, put another 90 in, funny. adapt and overcome, right? So this is actually a hiking trail. People walk this, so I'm gonna get off of this as soon as I can, but it is gonna add a distraction. He'll probably have to, huh? Can you go right? Uh, I can. Well, no, we've got our 290s. Anything more is going to be more than what the test needs. Okay, so we're going to hang up the We're going to keep walking straight. Oh, okay. Right now we're at 241 yards. I know. <laughs> yeah. All right, looks like we are going to skirt right in here. All right, so that's through the thicket. Morgan, if you want to skirt around the laurel, I'll go through it to stay true. This is the hardest part of the track so far. Good. 
All right, so we are out of the briars for the most part. There's still a few. Normally I would just barrel through this, but I do have my loving wife with me. Ugh. I'm also looking for sheds because we do have um, camera proof that they're dropping horns already. I don't think I'll find anything this early, but I'm keeping my eyes open just in case. We're at 445 yards and it's 959. You can see the two direction changes. I would have liked them spaced a little bit more, but they really did have a little bit of space in between them anyway. Two 90 degree turns right there. So this is UBT material. We did not use any blood. So just for the naysayers out there, I did take the shoes off with the deer hooves. I'm not walking out with them. I'm in my lacrosse scent free boots. I guess there is always the small chance that the dog can smell it. So now I just made a hard right and walking back to that trail. And uh, we're gonna head out and let this, let this line age. We went right about here. Come on, find it. That's the tracks that we just did. There we go. I'm holding him back. Yeah. Yes. Yes. How he's going back and forth like that.
sorry. There we go. <laughs> Find it. Hold on, Gator. There we Look familiar? This is right where we made our right hand turn. I just saw my footprints. <laughs> uh huh. That's fine. Right here. He's gonna overshoot this and then come back, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm gonna let him work this and figure it out real quick. Oh. Right here, I realized that I actually walked out on yeah. this trail, so Gator is smelling yeah. my track walking out. Come on. God, I gotta get better at that. Coming out at a different point. There he is. Okay. Okay. Now, I went through the laurel. He's going around it. Where find it? Oh. Good boy. Where you going, buddy? All right, just the right way.
Ha? Oh, I know. Where is it, buddy? It's right there. It's right there. Find it. Good boy, yes, yes. <laughs> well guys, after all that was said and done, I'm really proud of how Gator did. Um, just for full transparency, when we first started on the track, he did start to go left, and that's because he was following where we came out. As a handler, I have to do a better job at paying attention to how close we're entering and exiting the woods. Um, you'll see partway through the track, he started to come down the trail of us leaving. Um, so I do have to do a better job at that. I'm learning as well as the dog. Overall, really pleased with how we did today. It's cold, it's dry. There was absolutely no blood. So I think that as long as we continue down this road, continue performing the way that we're performing now, he's gonna have no problem getting that certification test done when we drive all the way out to Missouri or Mississippi. Uh, still waiting on dates for one of them to be released. So we'll decide which one we're gonna to go to. Either way, we're looking at a thousand miles plus. So we're just trying to put the work in and do what we have to do to make sure that the trip's not a wasted trip. Thanks guys for checking it out. Like, subscribe, and comment. Constructive criticism and feedback, always welcome. If you have any questions, let me know.